Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm welcome and generous hospitality he received during his visit to the kingdom. Al Sisi also expressed appreciation for the positive and constructive talks held between them, which affirmed the joint visions on bilateral and regional topics of common concern and reflects the strong historical relations between the two brotherly countries. He stressed the importance of continuing to strengthen the framework of consultation, coordination, and cooperation to achieve the interest of the two people and to ensure progress and prosperity for the two countries and the Arab nation. He reiterated thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, wishing His Majesty health and happiness and further progress and prosperity for the people of Bahrain under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a bilateral meeting with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace. During the meeting, the remarkable fraternal relations and the means to bolster cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt were reviewed, and the importance of continuing consultation and coordination for the interests of the two countries and their people were emphasized. His Majesty expressed Bahrain's pride in the visit of the Egyptian president, which will boost the course of strategic relations and joint work at all levels. He hailed Egypt's vital and effective role in the Middle East region and affirmed that it is a main pillar of the national, Arab and regional security pillars. The Egyptian president reiterated his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the generous hospitality, hailing His Majesty's role and keenness on developing bilateral relations to advanced levels, wishing Bahrain further progress and growth under His Majesty's leadership. The two sides also discussed Arab developments as well as a number of regional and international issues of common interest. In the presence of His Majesty the King and the President of Egypt, a number of agreements and MOUs between the two countries were signed. An agreement on establishing the Bahrain Egyptian Government Committee for Trade, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation, a Legal and Judicial Cooperation Protocol, an MOU in the field of export development, an MOU in the field of organizing exhibitions, an executive program in the field of education 2022-2023, an executive program in the field of environmental protection 2022-2023, an agreement of friendship and cooperation between the capital governorate in Bahrain and the Cairo governorate in Egypt, an unbinding terms and conditions sheet between Egypt's sovereign fund for investment and development and Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Barrachid Zayani, presented the Egyptian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Samah Shikri, with a certificate granting Egypt the right of sovereignty over the information and of its subscribers in the existing cloud computing centers in Bahrain. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed Zayani also presented to Shikri the Certificate of Accreditation of Egypt as an approved partner of the International Center for Sea and Air Freight Services. His Majesty the King and the President of Egypt congratulated on the occasion of signing the agreement, which will contribute to developing bilateral relations and cooperation. Poet Muhammad al Halwachi then delivered a poem on the occasion. <laughs> الشقيقين اتفاق بين حكومة مملكة البحرين وحكومة جمهورية مصر العربية بشأن إنشاء اللجنة الحكومية البحرينية المصرية للتعاون التجاري والاقتصادي والعلمي والتكنولوجي يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين معالي الشيخ سلمان بن خليفة آل خليفة وزير المالية والاقتصاد الوطني ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر العربية معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية
بروتوكول التعاون القانوني والقضائي يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة السيد نواف بن محمد المعاودة وزير العدل والشؤون الإسلامية والأوقاف ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية مذكرة تفاهم في مجال تنمية الصادرات يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة السيد زايد بن راشد الزياني وزير الصناعة والتجارة ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر العربية معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية مذكرة تفاهم في مجال تنظيم المعارض توقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة السيدة فاطمة بن جعفر الصيرفي وزيرة السياحة ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية برنامج تنفيذي في مجال التربية والتعليم اتفاقية يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة الدكتور عبد اللطيف بن راشد الزياني وزير الخارجية ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر معالي السيد سامح شكري اتفاق الصداقة والتعاون بين محافظة العاصمة بمملكة البحرين ومحافظة القاهرة بجمهورية مصر العربية يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة الشيخ راشد بن عبد الرحمن آل خليفة محافظ محافظة العاصمة ويوقعها نيابة عن جمهورية مصر العربية معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية صحيفة شروط وأحكام غير ملزمة بين صندوق مصر السيادي للاستثمار والتنمية في جمهورية مصر العربية الشقيقة وشركة ممتلكات البحرين القابضة في مملكة البحرين يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة السيد خالد عمرو الرميحي الرئيس التنفيذي لشركة ممتلكات البحرين القابضة وعن جمهورية مصر العربية الدكتورة هالة حلمي سعيد رئيس مجلس إدارة صندوق مصر السيادي للاستثمار والتنمية صاحب الجلالة أيها الحضور الكريم بمناسبة زيارة فخامة رئيس جمهورية مصر العربية الشقيقة إلى مملكة البحرين يلقي الشاعر محمد هادي الحلواتي هذه القصيدة وهي بعنوان في حب مصر السلام عليكم في حب مصر جميل الشعر يبتسم في حب مصر جميل الشعر يبتسم ومن هواها الهوى بالشعر يلتحم من دانة الأرض من بحرين ننطلقت ولهفة الشوق بالأبيات تضطرم 
أرض العروبة من تاقت لتربتها روحي فحلق بي من شوقه القلم وطرت فوق براق الحب متخذا جسرا من الشعر لا يرقى له الكلم من أرض دلمنا من أرض دلمنا من بحريننا نطقت شعرا تمازج فيه الشوق والحلم ومن ديار أبي سلمان قد صدعت باسم الإخاء بعقد ليس ينفصم ومن ديار أبي سلمان قد صدعت باسم الإخاء بعقد ليس ينفصم كأنها وهي تتلى في محبتكم عقد به اللؤلؤ المنثور ينتظم أو أنها والتحايا ملء أحرفها باقات ورد ولكن حفها النغم إيقاعها كلمات لا تحيط بها معاجم الأرض إذ بالحب ترتسم حيتك يا فارسا دانت لهمته وعزمه في صميم الشدة الهمم ويا فتى عقدت آمال أمته عليه في لحظة بالبأس تتسم فلا توانى غداة الصعب في دعة ولا استكان ولا زلت به القدم ولا تردد في تلقاء معضلة إذ أنه لصواب الرأي يحتكم أنعم بفارس هسيسي من رجل يقود للخير جيشا ليس ينهزم يا ابن الحضارة والأيام شاهدة بأن في مصر عزم ليس ينثلم كأن تاريخها باب يطل على كل الحضارات أرخى فتحه الهرم حضارة تلو أخرى وهي شامخة وكل شبر به الآثار تزدحم وقد أرى النيل يجري في مرابعها مثل اللجين الذي بالتبر يلتئم يسقي جذور المعالي وهي ضاربة في العمق من تربة دامت بها النعم ولست أدري أمصر النيل قد وهبت له أم النيل بالفسطاط يعتصم أو أن في مائه سر فشاربه دانت لهمته الأهرام والقمم أو أن في مائه سر فشاربه دانت لهمته الأهرام والقمم مصر الحضارة مصر الفكر من قدم وموطن المجد لم يزري بها القدم أرض هي الذهب الإبريز تربتها ومن سنا مجدها تسترشد الأمم والله ما قلت بيتا في محبتها إلا وصدقه من أهلها شيم والله ما قلت بيتا في محبتها إلا وصدقه من أهلها شيم يا ابن الحضارة إن النيل ما نضبت مياهه فهو طول الدهر يلتطم وقد أتتك من البحرين قافية لم يختلج حرفها لم يختلج حرفها عي ولا سأم ري الحروف بعذب الود صافية تكاد تقطر من أبياتها الديم تشير أن لكم في القلب منزلة لم يحوها الحرف والقرطاس والقلم أهلا بأحبابنا الغالين في وطن سياجه الخير والأخلاق والقيم وقد أتت من أبي سلمان ناصعة وليس إلا بصدق القول تتهم وكيف لا وهو من دانت لطيبته قوافل الحب من بالخير يلتزم ومن إذا قلت شعراً 
في محبته أصغت لأبياته الأعراب والعجم ومن به زينت أبيات قافيتي فالطيب منه وطيب الشعر ينسجم فالطيب منه وطيب الشعر ينسجم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Majesty the King held a lunch banquet in honor of the President of Egypt and the accompanying delegation attended by their Highnesses, Excellencies, Senior Officers of the BDF and the Ministry of Interior and the National Guard. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Egypt Abdel Fattah al Sisi inaugurated the new passenger terminal at the Bahrain International Airport in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon their arrival, they were received by the President of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Airport Company Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Mohammed Al Kabi, and senior officials in the new Bahrain International Airport's management. Two rows of Guard of Honor saluted, and the Bahraini Arda was performed. The inauguration ceremony was attended by senior officials.
The BAC president delivered a speech in which he expressed pride in His Majesty's visit and inauguration of the new passenger terminal building, which is the largest infrastructure project in the civil aviation sector and represents a qualitative leap in the level of services and airport facilities. He said that the project was implemented in record time, which began in April 2016 and ended in 2020 without issues in the project's budget. He noted that in the first year of its operation, the airport won a number of international awards from the highest international references for classification and evaluation. He added that in implementation of His Majesty's directives to support Bahraini citizens, they have invested in national competencies and cadres during the implementation period. He also said that the project would not have achieved all its objectives without the unlimited support and patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He pledged to His Majesty to continue enhancing the Kingdom's position regionally and internationally. لقد تم تنفيذ هذا المشروع في فترة قياسية تعد الأسرع في بناء المطارات على مستوى العالم بدأ في إبريل 2016 وتم الانتهاء من المرحلة الإنشائية في بداية 2020 بدون مشاكل تذكر وفي حدود الميزانية المعتمدة للمشروع في السنة الأولى من المشروع من تشغيله حاز المطار على عدد من الجوائز العالمية على أعلى من أعلى المرجعيات العالمية للتصنيف فقد حصل المطار مؤخرا على جائزة أفضل مطار جديد في العالم بالإضافة إلى تصنيف مطار من فئة الخمس نجوم كثالث مطار في الشرق الأوسط يحصل على هذا التصنيف سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة تنفيذا لتوجيهاتكم الكريمة بالاهتمام بالمواطن البحريني باعتباره محور التنمية وغايتها استثمرنا في الكفاءات والكوادر البحرينية من خلال فترة التشغيل ونفتخر اليوم بأنهم من يقومون بتشغيل وصيانة المطار سيدي هذا المشروع ما كان ليحقق أهدافه بنجاح جميعها لولا الدعم اللامحدود والرعاية والمتابعة المستمرة من سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء ونعالكم ختاما بأننا سنستمر ببذل قصارى جهودنا لتعزيز ما كانت المملكة إقليميا ودوليا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Majesty the King then and the Egyptian President unveiled the commemorative plaque marking the opening of the new passenger terminal. Then His Majesty the King, the Egyptian President, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister received commemorative gifts on the occasion. His Majesty the King, the Egyptian President, and His Royal Highness toured the departure building where they viewed the various facilities that were equipped with the latest technologies to serve travelers and visitors and all regional and international airlines. At the end of the inauguration, His Majesty the King expressed pleasure in inaugurating the new terminal building with the Egyptian President, affirming that it comes in light of the deep-rooted bilateral relations. He affirmed that the new terminal enhances the Kingdom's leading regional and international status in the aviation sector, connects it to many world destinations, and supports 
supports the National Economic March. His Majesty hailed the efforts of His Royal Highness in serving the country, enhancing its modern development in all aspects, and following up on the completion of this major development in the aviation and logistics sector. His Majesty also congratulated the President and members of BAC and all its staff on the occasion of the achievement of selecting it as the best new airport in the world as part of the Skytrax World Airline Awards recently held in France. He asserted that the achievement reflects the status and international appreciation of the kingdom receives and its continuous achievements and successes in various sectors as a result of the efforts of its people. His Majesty wished BAC's staff success in promoting Bahrain's modern cultural and touristic aspect and providing travelers and visitors with the best services. His Majesty the King affirmed that the development efforts are proceeding according to a future vision to make further achievements for a promising future, the development and prosperity of Bahrain and the advancement of its people. Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to bid the President of Egypt Abdel Fattah al Sisi farewell upon his departure from Bahrain International Airport after a visit to Bahrain, during which he held talks with His Majesty the King on the strong brotherly relations between the two countries, in addition to the latest developments at the regional and international levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Their Highnesses, Excellency, Senior Officers of the BDF, the Ministry of Interior, and the National Guard were also present. A joint statement was issued upon the visit of the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, to Bahrain. It stated that a session of official talks was held between His Majesty the King and the President of Egypt, where they reviewed the deep-rooted historical relations and means to develop them in all fields. The two sides were briefed on the latest developments of joint investments and trade exchange and expressed their aspiration for further cooperation in the banking, economic and commercial fields. They discussed regional and international developments of common interest and the challenges facing the countries of the region and affirmed their support of efforts aimed at reaching lasting political solutions to all crises in the region. The two sides stressed the need to intensify efforts to reach a comprehensive and just settlement of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and to find a mean to return to serious and effective negotiations to achieve peace. His Majesty the King expressed Bahrain's full support for Egyptian water security as an integral part of Arab water security and urged Ethiopia to abandon its unilateral policy. The Bahraini side expressed its full solidarity with Egypt and all measures it takes to protect its national security. The two sides affirmed their support to international efforts to find a comprehensive political solution to the Yemeni crisis according to approved international references and the initiative of Saudi Arabia to end the Yemeni crisis. They stressed the need to preserve the unity and integrity of the Libyan territories and the importance of Libyans reaching a solution without dictates or external interference. The Bahraini side valued Egypt's efforts aimed at restoring Libya's security, and sovereignty and hosting the Libyan constitutional track in coordination with the UN. The two sides also stressed the importance of immediately implementing the exit of all foreign forces and mercenaries from Libya without exception or delay. They welcomed the upcoming summit which will be hosted by Saudi Arabia between leaders of the GCC, Jordan, Egypt and the Prime Minister of Iraq with the US President. They agreed to support Arab efforts to urge Iran to adhere to the international principles of non-interference in the affairs of Arab countries to preserve the principles of good neighborliness. They affirmed support for international efforts to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon, ensuring the peacefulness of Iran's nuclear program and the importance of supporting efforts to establish a zone free of nuclear and weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East. The two sides reviewed the latest developments in Ukraine and stressed the need for a ceasefire and restoring dialogue to diplomatic methods to settle the conflict by peaceful means. The Bahraini side congratulated the leadership, government and people of Egypt 
on the anniversary of the June 30th revolution, which represented a pivotal station and a turning point in the history of Egypt. His Majesty the King congratulated Egypt on hosting the 27th session of COP27, which will be held in November 2022 in Sharm el-Sheikh. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and Noga Holding Chairman His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired Noga Holdings Board of Directors meeting. His Highness hailed the achievement and efforts undertaken by the oil and gas holding company. He commended the continuous oil and gas strides reflecting the vision of His Majesty the King and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He received an executive management report highlighting Noga Holding developments and progress of strategic projects. He discussed with the board members Popco plan to continue the refinery modernization plan and expansion operations. The latest developments in the research and exploration work carried out by Tatwir Petroleum were also presented, highlighting partnerships with regional international companies to incorporate new technologies for oil exploration. His Highness underscored the importance of continuing efforts to raise efficiency and productivity in the companies affiliated with Noga Holding. They discussed the new policies as part of efforts to follow up on the improvement and development of the company's organizational structure. His Highness stressed the commitment to sustainability by preserving natural resources to meet future needs in Bahrain. He also highlighted Noga Holdings' importance in developing the vital sector of oil and gas in line with the goals of the 2030 Bahrain Economic Vision. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, accompanied by Bahrain Ambassador to the U.S. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Interior Ministry's Under Secretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa, and delegation members visited the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Center. The Interior Minister was received by Admissibility and Passenger Programs Executive Director Matthew Davies. The U.S. official highlighted the importance of Bahrain joining the Global Entry Program that will be implemented in the coming weeks, demonstrating the strong ties between the two countries. The minister was briefed on the final stages of the program, expressing appreciation to the team for managing and implementing it. He said that the program facilitates the entry of Bahraini nationals to the U.S. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also held a joint press conference with the Minister of Planning and Economic Development of Egypt, Dr. Khaled Al Said. Sheikh Salman affirmed the support of Bahraini Egyptian relations received from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. And, uh, the, and this uh, visit of His Excellency, the uh, President of Egypt, uh, and his accompanying delegation is a uh, is a leap forward for enhancing this relationship in order to serve the interests of the two brotherly states and peoples. And now to, today we have signed ten memorandum of understandings and um, and agreements on the field of economy, science, technology, law, uh, judiciary, logistic uh, fields, uh, urban development. Uh, trade, investment, tourism, education, and environment. As well, uh, today we have declared the establishment of the Egyptian Bahraini uh, Committee uh, for the uh, technological and economic. Uh, uh, in economic uh, relationship and this will be steering the efforts in this regard between the two states. For her part, the Egyptian Minister of Planning and Economic Development affirmed the remarkable growth in economic and investment cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt to achieve the interests of the two brotherly countries and people. Uh, now, uh, this uh, this relationship embodying this vision and it's a model of the Arab uh, relationship and an example to be followed. The uh, the investment uh, the investment and economic relationships we have a number of uh, of opportunities in this field and we are trying to benefit from these opportunities in order to serve the interests and aspirations of the two uh, peoples in Bahrain and. In Egypt, Bahrain is uh, is is the 16th rank in uh, the in investing country in Egypt, and we have 216 uh, companies of Bahrain of 3.3 uh, 
$3 billion. And this, uh, the economic file and investment file is paying great uh, attention. And we have, a com uh, we have reached a consensus to enhance this relationship and benefit from the potentials uh, existing in the two states in order to uh, enhance the economic development of the states. And there are a number of Bahraini uh, companies working in Egypt in various activities, uh, the, the, the banking and the finance and tourism uh, uh, fields. Tamkin announced the start of registration for the first batch of Bahrainis in the cybersecurity training program in cooperation with the American Science Institute, which is the largest cybersecurity training institute in the world. The CEO of Tamkin, Hussein Rajab, affirmed Tamkin's commitment to supporting human resources in the kingdom in line with the economic recovery plan. The program aims to qualify a number of Bahrainis to work in cybersecurity specialties by providing them with the necessary knowledge in the field of cybersecurity. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce, in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue, continued to intensify inspection campaigns on commercial establishments following the implementation of the law to amend the value-added tax at the beginning of 2022. The inspection campaigns resulted in the detection of 22 violations that required the imposition of administrative fines that may amount to 10,000 Bahraini dinars. The NBR is in the process of taking legal measures against the violating establishments.